Good morning, everyone. I'm Reverend Therese Lee. I am the minister here at Unity Spiritual Center, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Today is Sunday. It's March 6th. We are grateful you are with us. It is also the first Sunday in the season of Lent. And this is the season where we release, we let go, we fast, and we feast. And so today, together, let us start in prayer, closing our outer eyes as you're comfortable, and breathe. And so we breathe into this now moment of living, loving presence, knowing that as it is, we embrace the faith and the love that we are. We are able then to love one another, to see the very best and highest in each other. And we pray for peace. We pray for miracles. We see it in our mind's eye and so it is. Amen. Open your eyes, breathe in, put your hand up. Let us feel your energy as we begin today together. We've been studying the 12 powers, and today our light of love is our topic. And so as we talk about this, I want us to think about it as the power that will change the world, along with every other power that we have. But this is a big one. It starts with ourselves, loving ourselves being kind to ourselves, embracing all that we are of ourselves, and then being willing. Are you willing? As you join us, I'm Reverend Therese Lee, Unity Spiritual Center, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Let us know where you're from. If you have a prayer intention, would you like to be on our e-news? and anything else we may hold in prayer with you and for you. So Martella Whitsett writes this book called Divine Audacity. Her name is Reverend Linda. And as you probably know by now, she is the one who is our head honcho for prayer in unity worldwide as far as Unity Village goes and all the different silent unity buildings and offices and prayer associates we have everywhere all over the world. If you would like to pray at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday, go to unity.org and they have a live prayer service. Sometimes I am the one doing it. So this book is about living boldly, as the spiritual beings you and I have come here to be, to live from our divinity, to live through and as our divinity. And sometimes that causes, has to cause us a shift in our thinking, so to speak, so we remember that we are divine. These 12 powers, 12 lights, 12 attributes, 12 faculties of mind, 12 freedoms, whatever it is that they're called, we have residing within us. Born in the image and after the likeness of all that is great and good, that we call God in unity, we have these great powers as well. The thing is, life happens and we forget that we have them. So this is our reminder in week seven about them all. So we've studied the different ways of understanding these powers to engage our Christ consciousness. That's once we've let go all the ego things and we step up into being the truth of who we are, to be the best we have come here to be. The whole premise resides in God is, we are. You and I am. God is, I am, we are. Say it with me. God is, I am, we are. So we're in this week of love, but we've talked about faith, and that is perception and conviction and expectancy. We talked about will, choice, commitment, and willingness. We've talked about imagination, 
conception, vision, and embodiment. We've talked about enthusiasm, audacity, and devotion. We've talked about the power of power, the concentration, the self-mastery with a capital S self, and spiritual authority. And that's what we talked about last week. So we bring all of these attributes and all of these powers to the forefront of our mind as we wrap them all in today's light of love. We know that each time we remember that we are divine, it allows it to be our first resource instead of our last resort. First resource, we are divine. Say it with me. I am divine. Our affirmation for today is this. Today I affirm my light of love allows for all the amazing blessings now on their way to me. So let's take it together. Today I affirm my light of love allows for all the amazing blessings on their way to me. What did, word did I forget? Now, now on their way to me, affirming it as so, seeing it as so, knowing it as so. Now on their way to me, and so it is. Amen. The light of love has the attributes of magnetism, harmony, and unity. What I love about this book and the the study of us and our 12 powers and and all the other great things about us is the um, words that Reverend Linda has used to help us understand these attributes even more. We have magnetism, harmony, and unity. Of course we do. We just forget, don't we, sometimes? So scripture is from 1 John chapter 4, verse 46. God is love. And those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. Basically, we are one. Are you willing to own it? Are you willing to live from that place of oneness? Love, God, oneness, all interchangeable words and many of the others you probably have, right? So, love is everything. Let me say it again. Love is everything. If we can get to this point, as we get our minds to this point, we can see that everything is an expression of love or a call for love. Everybody breathe. An expression of love or a call for love. It makes sense. So think about it. Think about it. Now, get out of your mind and come to your senses. Allow the thought to move into your heart space. Love is either an expression of love, every action, every interaction, every situation, an expression of love or a call for love. It makes perfect sense when we can feel that when the person is spatting at us, so to speak, and we see it as a call for love rather than an attack on us personally. Do I do this all the time? I am willing. I want to do this all the time. It's my intention all the time. And honestly and truthfully, no. Sometimes I can't get there in that moment when someone is in my face. Okay, so just take a moment, recenter, breathe, and say, I want to be an expression of love. Because we know their words that are being spat at us, their actions, their rolling eyes, whatever it is, is a call for love. 
something inside of them is hurting. Something inside of them. So every single behavior, every action is a call for love or an expression of it. Imagine now how different your day will be because you're able to know this. We get to get to this place of being love, right? Because it is an adjective. It is, a, I mean, it's an adjective or a verb. It's an action word. Who to thunk it, right? Because God and love are interchangeable as words go. But we get to start each day knowing this and then living from this spiritual consciousness. Cindy Wigglesworth, who is a life coach and a mentor to me and the developer of the um, spiritual intelligence process per se of understanding life as one of our many um, IQs within us. So we have IQ, right? Intellect, EQ, emotional, PQ, which is physical, and SQ, which is spiritual intelligence. She describes love as a two-winged bird, one of compassion and one of wisdom. Compassion and wisdom. Think about it. That gives me pause when I tend to want to react instead of respond. Wisdom and compassion. Because love, we know, is a sloppy word. I love you. I love pizza. And I loved a bike ride. What? 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 So it's not about a feeling. It's a state of being when we're talking about this kind of love. Charles Fillmore says in Talks and Truth, God is love. We, you and I, therefore, are love. And it takes practice, Fillmore says even back in the day, for us to remember, right, reorganize our mind that by permitting God to find expression in our thoughts, words, and actions, we are then being love in this physical world. God in, through, and as each of us is love expressing. So the question is, Are you willing? Are you willing? Not merely a feeling, Linda says in the book, eliminates the occasion for the warpness of obsession. We know, we've heard stories, we might have experienced it, TV shows where love, I love you, so therefore you're mine. No. Oh, not true. We are of God. We are love. We are loving and we are loved. It's such a really, really mm, um, awesome power to have with the right understanding. Eric Fromm, who was a German social psychologist, says, love is an activity in the power of our soul. Wow. It comes from the depth of us, the truth of us. We know that we are born in the image, right? We've talked to that. So we're an ideation of what God pictured us to be. Now, remember, God's not a person, not somebody up in the sky. God is the presence God is the love. God is, we are. The power of love has the attributes of magnetism, harmony, and unity. So let's unpack that. And how do we use those today in our life? Magnetism has a scriptural um, kind of um, backbone in John Chapter 12, verse 32, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people unto myself. 
So when I get out of the consciousness of sense down here in this physical realm and elevate my consciousness to that of Christ thinking, I can see the love. I can be the love. I can welcome in the love. Fillmore says, love is the drawing power of the mind, right? Because it draws to us that which is all of God. Harmony. Above all else, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything in perfect harmony. Now, you know when it's not perfect harmony, right? It's oof, on a Sunday morning, ah, or wherever you are and you're hearing a musical performance and it, mm, it's just not so, you know, your, your ear can hear different. So we love when we can see the harmony between all the musicians and, and the voices that are singing. You can see it and embrace it and let it surround yourself. Love is the power that insists that knows all is of God. Again, from Charles Fillmore. Do you know this? Are you willing to let go all of the things that don't serve you during this time of Lent, especially to know this truth about you? Butterworth says, Eric Butterworth, in his book, Discover the Power Within, says we get to see it rightly, not set it rightly, see it. So the Course of Miracles says, when we get a little verklumped per se, how may I see this differently? What am I to see? This is a whole different way than Valentine's eat some chocolate, I love you, right? Because it's about living as love in the world. Starting with yourself, and if that means Valentine chocolate, go ahead and have one. Spoil yourself. That's your job. Unity as one of the attributes of love. In John chapter 17, verse 24, it says, the glory that you have given me, I have given them so that they may be one and we are one. I in them and you in me. One, not one, one. No separation except for in our small M minds, except for when we allow ourselves to be ego driven ego occupied, so to speak. Let it go. Know that there's a way to see it differently. Realize, hmm, maybe they are calling for love in this situation. And love might very well just be a smile as you walk by somebody and you see they might be in a little bit of a, an attitude. We don't know. And because we don't know what's going on with another, we make stuff up, stuff up, so to speak. Instead, easy to go to the point of, oh, maybe I could be more loving in this situation. And then drop the maybe. Let me be more loving in this situation. Eric Butterworth writes again, love is not something you do. Love is being. Love is being. Love is not trying. Love is being. Love is not finding the right person. Wait for it. Love is being the right person. So say to yourself, say out loud so I can hear you over the ethers, I am the right person. I love me. Because therein lies all the power. So there's an acronym I use for love, and it's said L-O-V-E, living our values every day. What are your values? How are you living them every day? Living our values every day. Another one I heard was letting our values express. Okay, that's a good one too. Remember, state of being, action is involved in loving. There's also a cute alphabet for love. Remember, we're always nurturing the child within us. That innocence that brings a smile to our face. A accepts, B behaves, C cheers, D defends, 
E enriches, F forgets, G grows, H helps, I includes, J joins, K knows, L listens, M motivates, N notices, O overlooks, P provides, Q quiets, R respects, S surprises, T trusts, U understands, V volunteers, W welcomes, X expects, Y says yes, Z adds zip to your life. When this becomes the way we live, the alphabet of our life, it becomes then the zip code from which we move and live and have our being. Are you willing? Are you willing? So close your outer eyes as you're comfortable. And we're going to go into a time of extended meditation together. Facebook doesn't allow any music per se, so we're going to just breathe. And take a moment and move from your head to your heart space where each of us meets the God of our own understanding. Love, living our values every day, letting our values express. And so we breathe. And so we breathe. One of my values is loving out loud. Think of what your values are that start your every day before your feet hit the ground. And breathe. Breathe and then breathe again. We focus our attention on the energy of love that is within our bodies right here and right now. If it helps to put your hand on your heart, go ahead and do so as we draw our attention out of our mind and we come to our senses. The energy center of love is represented in our heart space right here. And in this moment, we attune to the radiating center of love as us. And we envision in this moment and we feel the warmth of love as us right here and right now. We affirm in this moment that divine love is my, is our true name and our real nature. Love, L-O-V-E. In this moment, we gratefully acknowledge as we take another breath in, that the well of love within each of us will never, can never run dry. We continue breathing because we know with a capital K that the source of love is eternal. Forever and ever and ever, that source is God expressing in, through, and as me and you. Under this influence of love, Martella Witset writes, I awaken, you and I, we awaken to more love than we have ever known. How will you be love expressing today?
in this now moment we call forth the magnetizing power of love that resides within us. We affirm that our thoughts are magnetic. Whatever dreams we are holding, you and I, we allow them to be embraced by this magnetic power of love. We realize that dreams are planted, seeds are sown, and each of us are devoted where we are in this moment to the growth of love expressing as us, our dreams outpicturing as us, to be the magnetizing power of love expressing in through and as each of us into the world. We call forth the harmonizing power of love. We feel the harmony all around us right here, right now, wherever each of us is. We acknowledge that love harmonizes our thoughts, our words, and our actions. We get to see things rightly and bring about the good that is ours to be and do in this world. We love ourselves first. Say to yourself quietly, I love myself. I love others. And we breathe. And we breathe. We express love, you and I, by seeing with the eyes of God into the world and allowing the truth to settle in you that you are the harmonizing power of love. I am, say it with me, the harmonizing power of love. And we breathe. And in this now moment, we call forth the harmonizing, the unifying power of love as us. We claim I am divine love. Say it with me. I am divine love. I unify my thoughts, my words, my actions to start from this place, to emanate out in through and as me into the world. God is, we are, I am. Each time we live from this magnetizing, harmonizing, unifying power of love, we bless ourselves and we bless the world. All of those who lives we touch. Physically, locally, and through our power of prayer. We send that out across the ocean today. The harmonizing, unifying, magnetizing power of love we make manifest right now and we send it out into the world. The magnetizing, harmonizing, unifying power of love, expressing as you and as me. We breathe again and we say, God, thank you for the realizations, these unity teachings that allow us to be on purpose, expressing as you, identifying as love. We pray this in the name and after the nature and under the authority of the living, loving presence that is you and that is me. And so it is. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. And we are grateful for your 
Practices of Generosity. We receive them on our website, www.unityofhiltonhead.org, where you practice generosity and use your PayPal account or your credit card. Thank you. We also receive snail mail at P.O. Box 1392, Bluffton, South Carolina, 29910, Unity Spiritual Center of Hilton Head. We do the will and the work of God here in this low country. We are grateful. So let's say our prayer for protection together, first for ourselves and then for each other and then for the world. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is. And because God is, all is well. Now for each other. The light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. And the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is. And because God is, all is well. And now for the world, everybody, everywhere, everywhere, everybody together. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us wherever we are, you and I. God is, and because God is, all is well. And so we let it be. Thank you for being with us. Remember to sign in and let us know where you're from, how it is we may pray with you. Reverend Therese signing off, Unity Spiritual Center. Have a blessed week. We appreciate you. And so it is. Amen.